Hi there, I'm Alex, the project's coordinator of the Our World project. And on behalf of SEAT, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the Our World online premiere and awards ceremony 2021. So what a unique year it's been, but I have to say a sincere thank you to all of you for your hard work and your enthusiasm in such challenging times. We've been really, really impressed and heartened uh, by your ingenuity in being able to create films from home and some of you working collaboratively in teams as well, which is no mean feat in a, in a global pandemic where the world has effectively shut down. Um, first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone tuning in from across the country. We've got a few teams from across Scotland, all the way from Aberdeen to North Berwick, and some individuals tuning in from Glasgow and Balfron as well. So a really warm welcome to all of you. Um, before we go live and kick this online event off, just a quick reminder of our charity and what we do. So we are the Scottish European Educational Trust, or SEAT, a small educational charity which runs projects for primary and secondary school pupils across Scotland, exploring language learning and global citizenship. We've been running projects which promote international education, skills development and language learning for more than 25 years now. And our, film, uh, our filmmaking project, Our World, is now in its ninth year. We work with all 32 local authority areas in Scotland, and annually our projects engage over 3,000 young people. Um, our World more specifically works with 14 to 18 year olds uh, and this year we've had more than 165 young people sign up to take part. So you've all done exceptionally well to get this far into the project. Um, our focus is developing language learning, international education and intercultural awareness amongst young people. And we do this partly through the themes which we set for our young people to work from. So, the theme for this project year, you probably all remember, um, was the Sustainable Development Goals. And we asked, as always, that all films include at least one language other than English in them. Um, so we're really happy to be working with people from Balfron High School, Aberdeen Grammar School, North Berwick High School, the Glasgow Academy and Perth Grammar School this year. Um, and we cannot wait to share their fine efforts with you in the coming moments. Um, all films will be posted on our social media platforms and our website, along with the winning team, so people can catch up with, uh, with that and, uh, you know, at their leisure. Okay, so now we've got the housekeeping done, let's get the Our World Premiere and Awards Ceremony 2021 underway. Here's how today is going to work then. So we'll play all your films, uh, then we'll have a brief chat with each team, just, you know, a quick question or two. It's nothing uh, to, to worry about. Uh, and then once we've watched all of the films of the people we have here, we're going to hear from a few very special guests who are going to give out some awards uh, to recognise your achievements throughout the Our World process. Um, so as you know, this year we did things slightly differently than normal due to COVID. Um, by welcoming films from individuals as well as from teams. Um, so there are a couple of people taking part um, today who made a film alone as well, which is no mean feat. Um, so I trust that we'll all make sure that our individual entrants to our world are welcomed uh, to the group as well. Um, so it'd be great to hear from each group. Um, we've kind of sort of checked in with most of us just to sort of uh, check that we're all tuned in. Um, but I'm going to introduce each team and we'll just uh, sort of say hello to the group. So we have a team from North Berwick High School. Um, fantastic. We've got a, a film coming in from Glasgow Academy. Um, we've got a team from Perth Grammar School, um, a team from Aberdeen Grammar School. In fact, we've got two teams from Aberdeen Grammar School and we've also got a film from Balfouron High School. So welcome every single one of you. Um, I hope you're all looking forward to seeing your work. And I realise it has been a little while since the sort of deadline for Our World a few months ago. Um, and obviously there's been so much going on in schools in recent weeks and months with the reopening and, you know, various assessments that you'll all be, um, that you'll all have been taking part in. Um, and it, it really does kind of feel like, you know, quite a lifetime ago now, but hopefully today will remind you of how you uh, went about creating your films and some of the things that you learned throughout the, the process as well. Um, so just a reminder then, all films um, were to be based on the theme of the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, and each film had to include the use of at least one language other than English in it. Um, so let's get started with the first film in this year's Our World premiere. So this film discusses the sustainable development goal number 10, which is reduced inequalities, and also number 16, which is peace, justice, and strong institutions. So it comes to us from Perth Grammar School, and it's called The Joys of Being Different. Please enjoy. Welcome to 
fears, hasn't she? Because God to men do not un ne fermo i studiante di fatti fita, nu es simpen i nu es teria classe. And I have been so present. Hola, mi amo Antoine. Tengo quince años. ¿Quieres que lo recoja por ti, señor Quinte? ¿Cómo es? Oh, no, gracias. <risa> oh, no, Quinte Culo se ha hecho en la cabeza. Debe ser difícil para él ir a la enfermería por el peso que tiene con los 15 años. <risa> Bonjour, señor Quinte Culos. Está solo? Qué pena. Tal vez nadie quiera hablar contigo porque no pueden entender tu acento. Vuelve a Francia, Quinte Culos. Bonjour maman, le sol est petit mauvais, je voudrais aller en France. Je t'adore, calme-toi, ils sont des petites méchants. Ok, je t'adore. Hola Antoine Gabacho. Antoine, cuatro ojos, capitán de los tiocos. Por favor, para esta, siendo super malo, tú eres un pecado. Un especialista. ¿Os gustaría ir a otros países a estudiar y que la gente se tratara como estás tratando vosotros a Antoine? ¿Estáis contentos? Y creo que no. no. Son increíbles y todos merecimos el mismo trato. Y... No te crees la guay ahora. No te crees, Jennifer. Me apuesto lo que quieres a que no puedo ni encontrar hasta 150 en tres francias. Anyways, no habla español claramente. No significa que no puedo ser amigo. Lo siento, Antoine. ¿Qué? Oh, sí, claro. Sí. Ahora. Sí. So, um, well, thanks a, thanks a lot for that, um, uh, Sean, Chloe, Marianne, and Jack. Uh, you did really, really well to learn the Spanish um, for the film because there was quite a lot of content in there. Um, so well done for the extra effort that you put in. Um, so you chose the, S the, the sustainable development goal of reduced inequalities and peace, justice, and strong institutions as stimuli for your film. So first of all, I was just going to ask what made you choose those SDGs in particular? What sort of made you look through that list and pick those ones out? Yeah, we picked, we picked them ones because we see it quite a lot in schools like our school. And um, a couple of us went to Spain two years ago uh, to Madrid and we experienced how it was in a Spanish school. And then um, it was nothing like our schools. They were, uh, you know, they all got along, they were all friends. But here there's a... Uh, you know, some um, inequalities, and it's not very nice to see, so we just want to spread the awareness. Fantastic. Um, we're also, uh, well, one other thing that I, that I really thought, I thought we were really impressed by your acting skills um, on show here. I was wondering if any of you guys acted outside of school, or if you had any experience in acting um, mm -hmm. from somewhere else before? Um, Sean here, he, uh, he does a little bit of drama, and uh, Chloe beside her, she does the she does the drama club in our school, so uh, yeah, but apart from that, nothing else. 
Okay. Um, well, I, I, we, we were both myself and Jane were very, very impressed. And we were wondering, how, how did you find working as a team as well? And what, what was each person's role in the creative process? Because obviously making films in lockdown is not an easy thing to do. And, and to be able to coordinate and collaborate um, as you guys managed to do really, really well is, is, is tricky. So how did you find working as a team and what was, what was each person's role in the process? Um, well, working in a team, it was uh, quite good actually. Like we all uh, got along well, and um, there was not—we didn't really have a specific role, but we kind of worked on one task all together. So we know all knew what was going in there. We all knew what was happening, what to say, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, we kind of just all collaborated uh, on each type of role. Fantastic! Thank you very much, Jack, um, and and your and your colleagues as well. Um, so let's keep this premiere rolling. Um, so this next film comes to us um, from the Glasgow Academy and it's based on the fifth um, sustainable development goal or, or gender equality. Um, and it comes to us from Swarna at the Glasgow Academy. Please do enjoy. How did you get to where you are now? simple. I stayed motivated. People tried to push me down. Centuries of gender stereotypes pushed us down. I pulled myself back up and kept pulling until I was above anything that could get to me. Then I helped everyone else get up here with me. Gender equality means everyone's on the same level, same expectations of everyone. No está mal para un chico. Parece que se da bien las matemáticas. Hi, I'm Dr. Samora. What can I do for you today? Sorry, we just moved here and don't know our way around. Where's the doctor? Could you get him, please? I'm your doctor for today, sir. Miss, I mean the doctor, not the nurse. Um, I am the doctor. Really? Okay then. So, what's the problem today? I see she had a broken arm and just had her cast taken off at her last hospital. Yep. The doctor said it was swell for a few days and go back to normal, but her hand is still very stiff and swollen after more than a week. Okay, let me check it out. My head looks fine. Swelling after a few days is quite normal for her age, but I can prescribe some painkillers for her if it's too uncomfortable. Are you sure? Maybe we should get another opinion on it. Nope, I'm quite sure, sir. I really think we should get a second opinion from a uh, more qualified doctor. One that knows more about children. I am a pediatrician. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm the only pediatric doctor available right now. But what's all the noise, Dr. Samora? This is a hospital. Sorry, sir, but this patient... Um, I want a doctor who's better qualified than her. Okay. Mr. Anna, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Let me take you and your daughter to a doctor right away. Yo soy más que capaz de tratar este paciente. Perry, no haga un esquema. I'm so sorry, Perry, but I don't feel comfortable with a girl as my daughter's pediatrician. It's Dr. Samora, and what's so wrong about a girl being a doctor? They aren't born with as much intellectual capability as men are. And what makes you believe that? You have a daughter, don't you? Yes, but she could never be a doctor. What if that's what she wants to do? It's none of your concern. You women bring feelings into everything these days. Anyway, let's go. Oh, and Perry, we'll be having a conversation about where you stand in this hospital after I come back. This is the third time in two months that this has happened. What are you going to do? We have to do something. Disparities don't close on their own because one person did something. They close because we strive to close them. We have to make sure our voices are heard. Yes. What do we want to achieve? We want to make all genders equal. Gender inequality has been a huge problem for centuries. How are we supposed to just stop it now? Simple. We bring it to the attention of people and encourage them to take actions in order to forge a world where gender inequality does not exist. More people will hear what we have to say if more people say it with us. Yep. Okay, so. We should be vocal about the bias that we face. We should stand up for ourselves and our colleagues who face bias of any sort and encourage them to do the same. We should stand up to people who don't think we are good enough. We should question why our bosses think our male co-workers are better suited to take up certain roles. And we'll question the system that isn't willing to offer women a seat at the table. I'm making posters, obviously. So, 
It's not been easy. I've gone through a lot to get here, but it's not just been me. A countless number of people have helped and most faithfully. I most certainly could not have did it alone. Well, I mean, what an outstanding film score, Anna. I really, really thought it had such a clear message and, and narrative to it as well. I think you really got across to the audience the, you know, the frustration that many people must feel when assumptions are made about them based on their gender. And um, I was wondering, what made you choose the gender equality uh, SDG? Um, I had seen an article online about uh, someone like a doctor that had like experienced gen gender inequality like like that um like the animation so that's what made me choose um number five okay um absolutely fair enough uh, we were really impressed by by a number of elements of your film swarna but including the, the animation side of it. we're wondering if you've used this animation software before and if you've made films similar to this in the past uh, yeah, I have for a couple other competitions. Oh, great. Um, and in terms of working specifically with our world and, and, and making films about the sort of sustainable development goals, what skills do you think that you've learned throughout the, the process of, of making films and using the animation software that you've, that you've talked about? Um, mainly just like patience. Like sometimes the like either a script doesn't work out with what you've already planned or something like that. So, like, you have to work around that. Good answer. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think part, a huge part of filmmaking or a really effective filmmaking is patience, particularly when it comes to the edit. It, you know, um, it, it takes, it, yeah, it takes up a huge amount of time. You need to be prepared for things to, um, to you know, frustrations to come out and to be able to sort of deal with them in, in uh, at, you know, in the moment. So well done for that. Um, I really enjoyed that film, Swarna. Um, okay, so let us um, press ahead with our next film. So um, the next film comes to us from one of our two Aberdeen Grammar School teams that we have participating this year. Um, so this film was inspired, well, the first one that we're going to see was inspired by um, the Sustainable Development Goal number 10, which is reduced inequalities, um, which a few groups have chosen to tackle as their um, as their SDG this year. Um, and this one is called COVID Across Borders. And we'll hear from the team in just a moment. Enjoy. Good, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. I'm so excited to go to Mali. Have you not looked at the news yet? No. They're closing all the borders due to COVID. You won't be able to go to Mali anymore. Oh. Maybe you could maybe you could Google some websites online and try and see if you can get an interview with a writer from a newspaper in Mali. Okay. I found one. Her name's Mariam and she's a health journalist in Mali for a newspaper called Les Year. Great. Keep me updated. I will do. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bonjour, Emily. Ça va? Ça va bien. Et vous? Bien aussi. Merci. Um, my French isn't very good. Would I be able to speak in English? Oui, bien sûr. So how has COVID affected Mali? Il y a 8913 cas. 
il n'y a a pas beaucoup d'argent au Mali et l'argent qui est dépensé sert à autre chose. Nous avons été durement touchés par la pandémie et il ne semble pas y avoir beaucoup d'aide de la part du gouvernement. Ce, comment ça se passe en Écosse? Well, it's very different from in Mali. So our vaccination system is getting much better and our death rates and number of cases have decreased. And we've been in um, two or three lockdowns. Have you been in any lockdown? Oui, bien sûr. Uh, en ce moment, uh, nous avons un couvre-feu a été mis en place de 29 heures à 5 heures. Uh, tous les hôpitaux ici sont surpeuplés et certaines personnes ne sont pas en mesure d'obtenir l'aide dont elles ont besoin. J'aimerais que nous ayons l'argent nécessaire pour fournir uh, des ressources aux gens afin qu'ils ne trappent pas le virus. Oh, well, that sounds like really good information that I can write in my article. Thank you very much, and it was lovely to meet you. Et toi, au revoir, merci. Au revoir. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, how's the interview gone? Yeah, it was really good, it was really informative, and I think it'll help reach lots of different people and tell them about the inequalities that Mali's faced during lockdown. And I also think by publishing it, it will help reduce some of the inequalities in Mali in the future. That's great. I can't wait to read it. Thank you. And how was your weekend? Done. Time to send my article in. Well, thanks a lot for that, Sophia. Uh, so, sorry, Sophie, Polly, and Rebecca. Um, this film was a great example of. Well, we felt it was a great example of a team being really creative in the way that you constructed your film during lockdown. There was a wide variety of techniques on show, um, and I, I think you've got a lot to be proud of here. Um, so, how was it that you found collaboratively working during lockdown, and um, and what were some of the challenges that you experienced creating a film when you weren't you know, when you weren't in, in school together and seeing each other every day. Um, wait, can you hear us? Okay. Yeah. We can hear you great, yeah. Okay, so um, one of, I think that one of the things we found hardest is obviously the regulations. We couldn't, we made sure that we were all social distancing in all our clips and stuff, but generally I think we worked really, really well as a team and we all, we had like a WhatsApp group and we all communicated back and forth about our ideas and we made sure everyone's ideas were kind of listened to. And I think we enjoyed making it a lot. That's, I think that's I think you're right. I think that's been one of the things that we we've really enjoyed about seeing um, uh, you know the groups create films collaboratively during lockdown is is the ways in which you've communicated with each other and the ways in which you've made it work as as a team um, because we've had some people that decide they want to enter as an individual and some people want to en enter as a team and I think yeah it's just it's just been a, a a joy to see some people using you know WhatsApp groups some people going old school, going by mail, you know, email, that kind of thing. It's just, it's been, it's been interesting seeing how, how, how you can make it work. Um, so uh, we're wondering as well, what inspired you um, as a group to discuss COVID specifically in Mali? Um, had, you, had you sort of researched it beforehand or had you read something about it? What kind of, what, what set that, that train going? So, um, well, we decided to do, um, as one of the languages, we decided to do French. So we kind of we just looked at the um, one of the one of the French speaking countries in um, Africa, and we thought that we'd do one of that. I think I think Mali was one of the the French speaking countries most affected by COVID. It was it was very badly affected, and we thought that it was an interesting comparison, especially governmentally between Mali and and Scotland. And then we could look at like the differences and how different governments mean that. There's a lot of inequalities in care for people. Interesting. Yeah, thank thank you for those answers. Um, so Rebecca and Polly, um, I, I'm I'm right in thinking that Sophie's not 
um, at the premiere this, this evening. Oh, fantastic, great. It's good to see you, Sophie. I wasn't sure if, if you were if you were joining us this afternoon, but it's it's good to see you anyway. Um, right then, so we're going to stick with, with Aberdeen Grammar School just now because we've got all the tech set up and it's working. We can hear you so perfectly clearly that we'll stick with it. Um, and we're going to watch the other group's film. So this one is based on sustainable development goal number 14. Um, which is concerned with life below water. And it was put together by Fatima, Rebecca and Sophie. It's called Unisson Nous sur le front de la mer, or Unite on the Seafront. Vous êtes très sympa. Nous serions contents de 
Okay, well, that was a really um, excellent film, girls, with a really clear, you know, message and narrative as well. And I think it responded really well to the idea of sustainability in relation to um, the sea and sea life. So you also seem to have um, a, a really, really enjoyable time filming it as well, which was really nice to see and, and also to receive that during um, during lockdown as well. Um, I realised some of the speech was slightly harder to hear due to the kind of wind noise. I did my best to edit out um, as smoothly as possible. Um, so hopefully you all still managed to hear it. Um, but obviously the, the, the YouTube links are there to, to go back and, and rewatch them um, in your own time as well. Um, so Fatima, Rebecca and Sophie, um, how did you approach the kind of lot, la the language content um, for the video? How did you go about writing the, the film? Me and Sophie have actually done advanced higher French this year, so we were actually able to pretty much, with the help of like an online dictionary for the more specific vocabulary, we were pretty much able to write it ourselves. And then Fatima as well is very good at French. She pretty wrote some of it. We did split up the script, and then me and Sophie kind of just checked over it. Um, but yeah, we were able to do most of it ourselves. And and that's a very good answer. But how is it that you? Why is it that you enjoy learning languages? Because it was it's obvious when when you when you made that film that you that you were very precise with your language, and you were um, you obviously get quite a lot of pleasure from from speaking languages. So what what is it that you enjoy about about learning languages and speaking and uh, communicating with people in in, in second third languages? Um, well, for me, it gives me a really big sense of achievement because you're you know if you I feel like speaking English every single day. Um, you're not really getting a full understanding of language, whereas if you learn to speak other languages, you can really see kind of the structural differences and the differences of how they view language. And it's just really beautiful to see like um, the ways that people from different countries speak. And also you can use it around the world as well. And I think making an effort to speak someone else's language is one of the best things you can do in this day and age. That's a really nice answer, yeah. Um, and, and I'm assuming, are, are, are any of you taking your French further when you get higher up the school? Are you going to be, I know some of you have saying some of you have done advanced higher. Um, are those that are maybe a year below, are you planning on taking it next year? So that's man, she's been just going into SCOR, so she's going on to do NAP5 French and Spanish. Uh, Rebecca and I have just finished S6, where we did advanced higher French and Spanish and higher German, and we're away to university in Aberdeen next year to study French and Spanish. Oh. Excellent, that's great to hear. Um, so you're staying close to home for university then? Yeah. That's yeah. understandable, understandable. I did a similar thing myself. Um, so in terms of actually making the film, how was it that you divided up the roles in your in your group? Was there a kind of clear leader or did you um, did you stick quite closely to your specific roles or was it, did you all kind um, of intertwine and help each other out? 
we just kind of split up the scenes between, like from the storyboard, we had like six clear scenes and I think we just split them up like two each yeah. and um, everyone kind of wrote the, a bit of script to their kind of section and then we just came together and we were pretty happy with it. So yeah, we just divided it very equally between the two of us. Fantastic. Um, okay, so let's keep this moving then. There were great answers, right? This next film comes to us from North Berwick High School. Um, and it's a fascinating take on the second of our STGs, which is number two, Zero Hunger. Um, it's called Tantalus in Absentia. So we're interested to hear what your, your thoughts afterwards.
Maybe it's a scare for a second there. It's a good place of starvation. The patient is now comatose. Nearly lost him this morning, but we managed to stabilize him. We're gonna run a few tests. <sighs> Nothing we can do but wait. Wow, well, well done, Corbin, Lucy, Isabella, and Joe. Um, this was such a, a creative entry. Um, and whilst you're, you know, you're linked to the your chosen um, sustainable development goal of, of zero hunger was quite subtle. We were really impressed with the quality of the production. Um, it's clear that some of you or, or all of you have indeed made films before. Um, it was also great to see such a variety of shot types and techniques um, similar to those discussed in the, you know, the Our World workshop um, on show in your, in your film as well. We really felt that it added to the, you know, the quality of what you produced. Um, so we're, first of all, what, what gave you the idea for, um, for your storyline? Um, well, we all quite like Greek mythology and we thought that like Greek mythology had morals that we could like implement in like modern art forms such as our um, uh, film, and Tantalus was a great, like, choice. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of answers my, my second question, which was going to be what, what other sort of film or, or, or media or, or um, story inspired your work. But um, as, we, as we mentioned a moment ago, your, your link to the, the, your zero hunger uh, goal was quite subtle. Um, how do you think the main characters uh, plight or the main character's story kind of cover how, how, how is it that you brought your SDG out in your film do you think? Uh, well by having a, a, a successful businessman um, kind of face being right on the edge of having like the like, available food um, but then just being out of reach from that kind of shows that even like in the situation that we're in in, in the pandemic uh, that people even in the UK, have you know, like suffered from starvation. Um, so I think that you know, by having all well, the successful businessmen, they said, you know, rather than my toddler. Yeah, I I I, th I think that's a good point. Um, you, you've obviously got um, experience. I'm I'm not sure if you've all made films maybe together before, or if you um uh, if you have experience making films um. Yourself, why, why, why don't why don't uh, we hear about that then? So, have, have we made films as a as a group before or individually um, um, in previous occasions? None of us have ever really made any uh, films or any short films before, but we were planning to sort of start working on maybe over the summer holidays or the breaks from school. Yeah, kind of, so this is a good kind of incentive to actually make one in the first place. But we we all watched a lot of films. Well, I do. And so maybe that kind of comes through. We've never actually made any before. Oh right. Well, yeah. I mean, we were we were very impressed, as I said, with the with the quality of the production. So, um, you I think you're onto a good a good thing there as a as a team working together. Um. Okay. Well, thank you very much for um for your answers there. Um. Let's watch. Move on to our final film. Now, this one comes to us from. Uh, Balfron High School. Now we've been having um, a little bit of trouble with um, the connection with Balfron. Um, so I'm hoping we'll, we'll play the film and hoping that we can hear from them afterwards, um, but we'll see how we get on after you've watched the film. Um, so this one uh, covers the, the STG of reduced inequalities um, and it comes from us to us from Sophia at Balfron High School. Waarschuwing. Advertentie. Waarschuwing. Waarschuwing. Er komen verontrustende. Advertiendo que el seguimiento puede ser triste. Waarschuwing. Schrijnende inhoud. Moesjes odvrucit zdrok. Men da non de je ken. Dem da leo de her. Questa è la storia d'un individuo. Ik samuha. 
un país. Questa storia non è mia, ma è la storia di quelli che magari non possono farsi sentire. Wamang Xiang Mingju Mei Tian Xiang Lai Ju Chuo Che Wo Xiang Yao De Dan She Wo Shema Ye De Bu Dao In Hong Kong, those who are in power willing to change this have been charged with unclear crimes which they did not commit. Wo Wei Wada Bai Biao or Jendal Shu Wada Chuan Li Pidimi Kwan Digo Kino Siamo in Una Democrazia Au Myanmar, il y a une femme qui plaide à genoux. Elle plaide pour la vie de ses enfants. Elle plaide pour qu'il la blesse elle au lieu de ses enfants. Sto lotando par la humilata. Per cosa stai lotando? Todavía estoy intentando luchar, pero muchos de mis amigos y mi familia han desaparecido. En chinas provincias, las medidas son censuradas, la discriminación es universal. No sé dónde están mis seres queridos, pero estoy luchando por ellos. Estoy condenando los campos de trabajos forzados a China. A quién estás condenando? En In India, los medios de comunicación son estados censurados para no esconder la destrucción de los derechos de los agricultores. Ik veroordeel deze onrechtvaardige maatschappij. Wie veroordeel jij? De afleerse maas. Personas en Beirut, Azerbaijan y Lebanon. Gente en todas partes. Incluso en los Estados Unidos y el Reino Unido. Vielleicht haben Sie Folgendes in den Nachrichten gesehen. Tisha, Fubai, Pingchong, Chu, Baran, Chuan. Louis Xiaobo nicht. Martin Lee Azit. George Floyd Nahie. Alexei Navalny nie ist. Barscreen. Advertencia. Barscreen. Sid ege bare der u se po. Spred opmerksomhed, som underskrifter demonstrerer stem til politisk hæng. For dem. Let I. Les inégalités sont partout. This is not an excuse. Wow, well, I mean, I, I think we can all agree that that was quite a hard hitting film. Uh, thanks a lot for, for, um, staying with us um and and and, uh, and joining us now so um first of all, i was just saying I, I, i'm not sure if you were if you were tuned in at this point but we were just saying that it was it was a fantastic film uh, of yours that we watched and um we thought you've done so well to include so many different voices in your film and be able to sort of pull it all together from from different directions and many different strands you know that required a huge amount of coordination and and production uh, on your part so really well done for that um I was going to say first of all, how did you find the process of collaborating with others digitally? Um, can you hear me? I'll just check that first. Yes, we oh, can yeah. hear you, Sophia. Thank you. <laughs> um, it was certainly a challenge, um, and it was uh, especially difficult because everyone's was sort of working on different schedules for filming, so there was a lot of patience um, and a lot of organisation. So. Um, sort of just sort of sending reminders and stuff like that, which is kind of needed. Yeah, I can imagine. It's um, the, uh, these things are always, always can be such a headache trying to pull everything together. But I thought you did exceptionally well. Um, 
Are there any new skills that you that you um, have learned from taking part in our world and it's kind of COVID format this year? I was telling the, the, the rest of the audience that you took part in um, our world last year as well. Um, I'm wondering if, if there's any sort of new things that you've taken on board and you've learned from, from this particular COVID, uh, COVID format of, of the project this year. Um, probably definitely a lot more organisation, a lot more organisation skills and even communication skills, although you're not talking to people that you're filming directly, you sort of have to go through different ways to find out what's best to communicate with them, such as email or sort of WhatsApp or something. Um, but yeah, it's been good. I like this year, so thank you very much. <laughs> No problem at all. Yeah, I mean, you're filming, it's really clear as to which um, sustainable development goal that you're trying to tackle, uh, reduced inequality. Um, as it talks about sort of several inequalities happening around the world right now, you've you obviously really put a lot of research into your film as well. Um, so what inspired you to, to, to make the film that you ended up with? Um, I was actually uh, reading an article in the BBC when it came up with a photograph of, and it's included in this, it was a photograph of a woman in Myanmar who was a nun and she was on her knees with a priest with a gun to her head um, pleading for the lives of children. Um, so that definitely took an emotional toll on me. I just couldn't believe that that was happening and people weren't doing much about it or it's just normalised to read stories on the news and not sort of do anything about it. Um, so then I sort of just sort of look back at other articles of inequalities I had also read and try to include them in this. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 I could tell you, you'd obviously, yeah, as I said, you, you've obviously put a huge amount of research and, you, and you've really done your reading for it. Um, and, you know, not, not just your, your, your reading, you'd obviously actually engaged with what you'd read and, and really thought about how you could you know, put it down in a, in a uh, you know, in an artistic way uh, on on into film. So so well done for that. Um, so just before we um, spoke to uh, Sophia, we were watching. We were halfway through our, our film for best use of theme. So I think we'll just start that clip again. Um, just uh, we're just trying, trying to catch everyone up. So this is the the best use of theme award um, presented by Helen from Close the Gap Scotland. Hi, I'm Helen and I lead the communications for Close the Gap, Scotland's policy advocacy organisation on women's labour market equality. Here at Close the Gap, we work on tackling the causes of the gender pay gap, which is the key indicator of the different experiences that men and women have in employment. For example, due to gender norms on who takes on what work in the household, women often have more caring responsibilities and with a lack of flexible working can often find it difficult to manage balancing these with paid employment. We work with the Scottish Government to influence policy around the labour market to ensure that women's experiences of employment, education and skills acquisition are accounted for. We also work directly with a wide range of employers to support them in tackling inequality for women in the workplace and also close the gender pay gap within their organisation. The Our World project is especially interesting to me because I grew up bilingual with German parents. So I find that knowing another language and having a cultural understanding for cultures different to your own are super important skills to have in life. The skills that you develop by taking part in the Our World project are skills that will support you in your daily life and skills that I use every day here at Close the Gap. Teamwork, planning, research and communication skills are also essential for the other roles that close the gap, such as policy, programme and parliamentary engagement managers. The SDGs are a part of an ambitious and important UN agenda that member states, businesses and individuals can all use as targets in order to work towards a fairer and more equal world. And SDG 5 links closely with the work that we do here at Close the Gap. The themes for the Our World workshops this year were the Sustainable Development Goals and it has been fascinating to see how these have stimulated such different responses from each group. We've been impressed by each participant considering each SDG carefully and thinking about how it affects their personal lives and how they can portray their feelings and opinions about them in a visually engaging way.
The film we have chosen to win Best Use of Theme this year impressed us across the board, but particularly with their editing skills and understanding of narrative, ensuring that their film had a clear and concise message and storyline. The winner of the Best Use of Theme award is Swarna Nana Pindidan from the Glasgow Academy with her film Gender Inequality. Um, so we'd, we'd love to hear from you, Swarna. Congratulations on on your on your uh, winning of best use of theme. Uh, we'd love we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, thank you for the uh, award and um, like the the online blog that I read. I actually reached out to the person um, on Instagram, and uh, she was the one that like gave me the inspiration and. Uh, like uh, guided me through like what she had to go through. So that's what inspired me to do the um, animation. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Swana. That's, that's a fantastic piece of work, well done. Um, okay then, let's, let's keep this moving. So we have just had our best use of theme award. Um, a really deserved winner um, in in this category, making you know a really clear and concise point about gender equality um, in her film. So let's keep the ceremony going and hear from our next contributor, um, Tim Flood, who is re uh, presenting this year's award for best production. So thanks a lot to Tim for sending us this piece. Hello, my name is Tim Flood and I'm a film tutor. I've also been creating some of the educational resources for the SEAT Our World project. And it's my great privilege to present the award for this year's best film. And it's clear to me that watching many of the films, you've had the opportunity to learn new filmmaking skills such as storyboarding, directing, camera work, acting, film production, uh, in addition, you've had the opportunity to learn creative skills in terms of teamwork, collaboration and communication, and including using a foreign language. And these are all skills that will help you on your journey, whichever career you choose. So this year's winner. I was so impressed with what I saw. This film is outstanding. I've seen many young people's films and this film displays a level of maturity that is well beyond the years of the people that made it. So in terms of the script, a superb script. It uses very little dialogue. However, the creative use of a foreign language is, is just so clever. And the scripts kept me going all the way along. There are many turns, but at each turn, I'm asking questions. What's going on here? Why are the characters doing that? Uh, very clever in its building up of tension and its evolution of the story. And then there's a camera work, a wide variety of shots, uh, some handheld, long shots, really good use of scenes and daring splashes of color. Uh, there is the sound, very clever use of sound, where the sound underlies different shots and has meaning and leads us into following sequences. Also some great transitions. Uh, the people who've made this film have really thought carefully about how to engage the audience. So, uh, I, what more can I say? I was just so impressed with this film. So, the winner of this year's 2021 uh, Seat Our World Project during a time of lockdown. Highly impressive. This year's winner is North Berwick High School with Tantalus in Absentia. A superb production. Well done, North Berwick High School.
Congratulations to North Berwick High School. What a fantastic effort. Well done, all four of you. Um, we, we, as, as, as Tim pointed out there, we felt that the quality of the production was exceptional, particularly during a national lockdown. Um, and we'd love to, yeah, we'd love to hear, hear from you. <laughs> we're just very grateful because we did not, re we didn't really expect this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was like our first time, so we didn't really expect yeah. anything from it, and it was, it was, it was quite, quite an experience. <laughs> we just happy that we did put a lot of effort into it, a lot of late nights in the yeah. attic editing on my phone. We, we just, we, yeah. We, we, yeah, we we can we can tell it, we, it was it was clearly a huge amount of thought had put in uh, had been put into it, and and you you worked very very well collaboratively as as a as a team as well. So um, yes, yeah, so well done, all four of you. Um, yeah, thank you. Can I also just say I've just found out that Joe actually composed all the music and played it on the piano. <laughs> Sorry, and I didn't know that. So well done, Joe. I was going. I was going to ask where where, where the music came from because it works really really well with the film. So well, so that was the that was a completely original piece from Joe. That's that's fantastic. Well done, Joe. Um, brilliant news. Okay, so let us let's press ahead then. Um, what a great achievement. So let's move on to our final award for tonight, which is for best use of language. Um, so our world is primarily um, a, a language learning project. Um, so this is an important one each year that we do our world. Um, so to present it, we have Shona Hugh, who is a senior education officer uh, responsible for languages at Education Scotland. Um, so a big thanks to Shona for taking time out of her busy schedule to put this together for us. Hi there, my name is Shona Hugh and I'm Development Officer for Modern Languages at Education Scotland and my job is to support languages from Primary 1 right through to S6. I'm absolutely delighted to be able to support SEAT and the Our World competition and to be part of this award ceremony. We're often asked why do languages matter for young people in their education and like your teachers and as a former languages teacher myself I could talk for hours on the importance of language learning and what a positive impact it has on you as young people. However, the skills you learn in the language classrooms, such as communication, openness to new countries and cultures, will be an asset in whichever future career path you choose. And sometimes even the smallest amount of language or knowledge of another culture could be the one thing that gives you a connection or a common bond with a future colleague or client. As a country, Scotland has always been considered to be outward looking and welcoming. In education, we strive to cultivate those skills of global citizenship and cultural understanding. The Our World project gives you the opportunity to expand your language skills in different contexts out with the classroom. And I hope you've all enjoyed the experience. All the films this year have been really impressive in terms of the use of second, third, and in some cases, fourth languages. And deciding on this year's Best Use of Language Award was really not an easy decision for the judges to make. The judges really enjoyed seeing how creative you have been in incorporating all the languages you learn at school and speak at home in an engaging and relevant way for your audience. The film Chosen stood out for its use of the chosen language in a fluent, precise and relevant matter. So, the winner of this year's best use of language is Aberdeen Grammar School. Je voudrais féliciter tous les élèves et les profs qui ont participé dans ce concours, surtout pendant une année si mouvementée. Vous devez être très fiers de tout ce que vous avez réussi. Et encore, mes félicitations à Aberdeen Grammar School, les gagnants dans cette catégorie. Bravo et à bientôt. Merci beaucoup. Fantastic Aberdeen Grammar School. Well done, girls. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Well, I have to say, um, well, we actually, we weren't expecting that because we were really, really impressed with 
all of the films and we were like, oh, we can't beat this. And I still don't think um, that we did, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they were yeah well thank you very much it was really enjoyable like making this and it was a good opportunity to like you know cause sometimes you're learning a language and you're like when am I gonna have an opportunity to use this but this was like a good opportunity for that so thank you very much for this <laughs> oh well it's a, it's a total pleasure well done well well done all of you um Aberdeen Grammar School but you know everyone uh everyone taking part a massive congratulations um to our three winning teams for 2021 so we've got Swarna from um, the Glasgow Academy we have Aberdeen Grammar School and we have North Berwick High School all three very very worthy winners um of this year's Our World uh filmmaking project um the films this year were of such a high, you know, exceptionally high standard. Um, it was so hard to pick um, in, in three different categories. Um, you know, if, if I had it my way, you'd all you'd all receive receive trophies, but um, you, you've all done exceptionally well. Um, just a final message from us um, at SEAT then. So we'd like to thank you all so much for your for your hard work um, throughout the Our World project. Uh, and for your interest in, in taking part in the first place. Um, we've been really impressed by your creativity, your language skills, um, and your knowledge of, of the sustainable development goals as well. And we really hope that you will continue to look for opportunities such as our world, um, which complement uh, what you're learning in school and give you a chance to use your languages and other core skills in a real life context. Um, so please keep an eye out for SEEK projects in the future. Um, and pass on word to your colleagues, friends and family about our projects as much as possible. Uh, you know, word of mouth makes a big difference to us as well. Um, so finally, a big, big thank you to Tim, Helen and Shona for their contributions to the award ceremony. Our director, Jane, uh, and SEATS Board of Trustees for all their help and support. Um, your teachers for having the energy and enthusiasm to make all this happen um, and those individuals that took part off their own volition as well. All participating teams that are, uh, that are, that are here with us just now and um, you know, thank you to all of you for making it such a, an enjoyable experience. Just before you go, can I just ask that the three winning teams, uh, if they have their trophies, if they could hold them up, we'd love to take a sort of screen grab for our website of, of, um, of our winners. Um, and then I'll let you all um, I'll let you all get off. Um, so we'll maybe start with um, our first winner, which was Swarna, if she is around still. Fantastic. We'll start with Swarna. So we'll get a wee screen grab from you, Swarna. Thank you so much. Um, okay, and then can we please now, I'll just put in our next one, which was um, North Berwick High School. Just bear with me a moment. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, and then finally, sorry, bear with me. And then finally, can we please have um, Aberdeen Grammar School. I'll just put the spotlight on you. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I hope you all have a safe journey home. Um, thank you very much for joining us this evening um, and all the best. Um, and we hope to see you taking part and seat stuff in the future again. Thanks a lot.